So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 129 and in this video we are talking about editing assets uh, during gameplay. So how we do this, the normal way how you edit assets is just uh, before you start the game, you just position, for example, this cube here, this cube here, and yeah, and that's it. And then uh, you say, that's okay, I want this one, then you start play and then you can check out if it's really that what you want, for example. Uh, but there is another way to do this one. And this is, instead of going now here with F8 out of this play mode, you can just edit the assets which you have already in your level during gameplay. So how we make this? So we start we are not editing the assets uh, at start, we are just start playing. And then we go uh, with your, our character to the position where we want. For example, I want to change this uh, cubes here and say I don't like them. And instead of uh, uh, quitting the play mode, I press F8. Now with F8, I'm here in this free fly mode. And with this free fly mode, I can select now for example, these cubes, and then I can move them. But you will see not all cubes will be movable. For example, this one is not movable, but this one is movable. Then if this cube is not movable, what you do is you go here on the right side down to the details panel where it says general. And then here on top, it's just on top on transform. It, uh, you have to check movable here because then this um, asset is movable. And here's something strange, right? I selected this asset here, this cube. I go to the details panel and I read it is movable, why it's not moving. And this is a visual, let's say a visual bug or it's not a real visual bug. It's a something like you have to do to activate that this one will be simulated because Behind the scene, this, uh, yes, it is a visual bug, I think. Because normally I what I do here is I switch here to stationary and then I switch back to movable. And now this box is movable. But there is one more catch. If you do this kind of stuff, all the simulation uh, settings here in your static mesh will be reset. What I mean with that, if you type here sim, uh, for example, for simulation, then you can see physics. Uh, if this was activated, it's now deactivated. And if you had collision settings, simulate, generate hit events, if this was activated, this was will be now deactivated too. Because right now you don't simulate physics in this mode because you are just placing and you try it. And when I go press now F8 and go back to my play mode, F8. I'm still in my plane mode here. I have not changed my position. And you see the cube is not really uh, dropping right now down. So, but let's go on and see what uh, benefits we have with this here. Let's, I press again F8 and say, okay, I want to change perhaps this cube a little bit more. And I want to keep it. First of all, in general, this setting, what you made here, is not saved because it was made during gameplay. So that means if you... Let's go first F8 back. I'm in my game. Let's press F8 again and quit this here on top. This setting, what I made here, will be gone because it's not saved. And here we have it. Okay, there are some error messages. You can, uh, you can ignore this one here. And you see, important is your cube is back to the start position like it was not changed because I have not um, saved the changes. You can save them. So first of all, let's start again. I play. I say, oh my God, these cubes are really not uh, so like I want, but I want, uh, let's say, I want to place them so that I can walk around or something like that. And then I press F8 again. I select them. I... I change them and you see, I can't change it again. And look here, right now simulate physics is active. I can't change them. And when I go here now to, 
uh, let's say here again back it's again movable it's active but uh, if I set this one here stationary and back now simulate physics uh, back again now this one will work so you see it's resetting all things with simulate physics and so on and when I click the right now sim again you can see it's resetted so that's why it's not working because here we are uh, working actually with simulation here and it's not working if simulate physics is active and simulate not only physics in general simulation here uh, all right but the point is here now let's say i'm happy with the box here on the top yes i'm happy with it how i save this now you can right click on it on the selected box right click on it and now we have here on the bottom a new option it says keep simulation changes because i'm happy without it yes keep this changes now it is saved which means your change position here is now saved in your old liner which means when i uh, go back first yeah i go back it's okay i'm still in my play mode i see my end result but now i want quit i press f8 i quit and yes this arrow was <laughs> again and here it is it is still there where i want it but the problem here is uh because i have i have activated uh, simulate physics i have um, set it back or other uh, simulations and i don't know if there is a shortcut to set this back right now i don't know it so i make it manually which means i select this object i click here simulate again and simulate uh, generate hit events and i save this one and now when i start here this one as its behavior it's dropped down because it simulated now the physics here and yeah that was one way to change it because and uh, you can ask now why i should change this way not what just make the normal way for example here just uh, change here it's much faster and you are right theoretically you can say that's absolute perfect start play from here and go on that works fine as well but this is just an alternative and sometimes perhaps you want to make a more realistic uh, view for example you see when i stop here this lightning is a little bit changed right when i change here uh, anything and set up but when i play we have another feeling here right so lightning is a little bit changed and this one comes closer to the end result and here you can see and change all things a little bit more closer to the end result what you want it's still not the end result because you will later build lightning and other things but it's a little bit closer let's say this way all right so there is one more problems or other problems which i want to mention here fast too which is if you say here okay let's press f8 and edit this things here okay let's say you go up again i can't okay let's deactivate simulate now it should work so instead of going here on top you can just deactivate let's see if i can just deactivate this one here uh, perhaps it works just deactivate simulate physics and it works and hope it works <laughs> if not no problem uh, we know that you have just to check first of all the simulations so let's say i have this one here and there is one problem if you do what if you do for example adding elements for example you say hey it would be cool when i add here another box and then something like that so i show you for example i go here on the right side to oops here on the here uh on this plus symbol and then i go to shapes and i say no not a cube let's add something new a cone and if i try to drag in this cone and i have really tried click and drag in not uh, 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 still clicked then it's not moving it's stuck here in the corner this is the first problem and the second problem is this cone what you can see here actually this moving is not again working and the same problem like the other ones simulate physics uh, sim let's write here sim here it is not there it's even worse <laughs> than before let's have to find now the cone here in our outliner and perhaps i write now sim um 
yeah, what you can see here is on in uh, here in the outline and details panel, it is static. It has uh, it has not uh, anything with simulation by default. So which means I can make it still uh, movable, which means I just say, OK, you are right. Not not movable, but I click movable and now uh, it still not works, right? You can see it's still not working. But what I can do is, again, I click another object, I click it back, and now it works. There are strange things, but you will see why they have done this this way in a moment. <laughs> um, and the point is, now I can place here some cones for testing. I go, let's say I put it here, I go back to play mode. You see, I'm still in my play mode. I can test it instantly and see if this works and not. And yeah, let's say I'm happy with, uh, let's say I'm not happy with it. I press F8, I duplicate it, I press Alt, and you can see all the editing works anyhow. Nice, that's cool. Something like that. And I press again F8, I'm in my play mode and just can go on and testing. All is fine, but then I have a problem. And what is the problem now? Look what happens uh, if I go pressing F8. And I said before, we have changed here the level during gameplay. So we have to save this. The problem is if I select now the cone here, for example, and right click on it, this keep simulation changes is grayed out, which means it's not available. That means we have a problem. And the problem is all uh assets which you are spawning here for testing will be not it's not possible to just save during gameplay so for testing for example f8 yes you can test it you can check out your scene but you can't uh, save this uh, new spawned assets so you can only save assets which are already existing in your um, level for example this cube was already there that's why i can change it its position here and say okay this position is new keep this new position here and then let's write simulation and activate simulation after this one here something like that and then it works and then if i press now this one here back all my cones are gone but my cube is here and if i press play okay it was not saved Simulation physics was not saved. You can see it here. Let's uh, select it, save it again. Now it's just working. <laughs> so I think you get the idea. Um, on the one side, it's cool. This edit mode, you can see a realistic end result, almost realistic, because they are still uh, this uh, project has still to build and so on. And but it's more realistic than let's say the normal way. For example, here it's a little bit change not so realistic but this mode is faster i think because you have not to uh, keep track of simulations and all this kind of stuff you just change it here you say play from here if you want not all time go the way there up and then you check okay that's not working f f8 here and then go here and change this one here and so on you see they this is just yeah what you like more Depends on your project probably and your preference, what you, if this is cool for you or the other one. But you should just know it that this one exists too. And during gameplay, yeah, can be good, depends on the situation and so on. But you have to keep in mind that you have all time um, setback, for example, if the object has physics that you have reset the. Uh, simulate physics and activate it again and save the changes but on the other side if you make just testing like before let's say i jump here uh, i want just see fast uh, how this looks like this one this one um yeah but i want not keep it right i want not change it just for testing uh, yes, I test this one and uh, this one as well. Looks this cool. You say yes, and then here, perhaps check here. Yes, that looks cool. No, and then you say no, no, that looks not cool. Go, go back to the start point. All right, back to the start point. Very easy. Just close it. 
and you are back to the start point. If you have changed many, many assets, this is a advantage, I think, because compared to this one, if you change here something, uh, it works also. I mean, because here you can press all time control set, control set, control set. It will go back to the um, start point too, depends on how many uh, elements you changed. But this one is a little bit faster if you just tested it out. Yeah, so you can, you see, it has advantages, it has des uh, disadvantages, and depends on your needs, you can use that one or that one. But the only thing it's important is that you know that it exists, try it out, and then decide if you make it or not. <laughs> All right, with that said, I stop this video here. If you have any questions or any complaints like all time, uh, write it in the comments also write suggestion tips and so on in the comments will help me other play other users who watch this tutorials and with that said bye and good luck <laughs>